Hello guys, welcome to another video from me, Bad Jokes Gaming. In today's episode of Walks to the Prem, we've got two of the biggest games in Kings Lynn's history. It feels like I'm saying that every few episodes, but the massive games just keep on coming. Today's games are both legs of the League 2 playoff semi-final versus Northampton Town. We only narrowly missed out on automatic promotion in the last episode when we lost to Coventry, meaning we missed out because of one goal. That's all we would have needed to get the draw, which would have given us the point to go up. But hopefully the lads can bounce back today and get us to Wembley for a second promotion playoff final in as many years. So let's get straight into the team for the first leg. The team for the first leg is looking like this. We've got Herbin in goal, Wilson, Barnett, Andrew Unpronounceable and Crow are our back four. And in the midfield, it's Nathaniel Lewis on the left, DiMaggio Wright-Phillips on the right, McCarthy and Ewan Murray are our middle two. And then it's David Marsden just behind Tristan Abeldeen Goodridge. Can we please get a good result out of this team today to set us up for the home leg? Come on, you Linets. Here's the other playoff semi final Coventry versus Forest Green. I swear it's all set up for us versus Coventry in the final after they denied us going up automatically. Hopefully, we can take a giant step towards that in this first leg against Northampton. Let's go and see what the bookmakers have got to say. Northampton are the favourites, but not by much. We have been in better form, winning three of our last five, but we have never beat Northampton in this save. Both times we've come up against them this season, they have beat us. So, little bit nervy, let's go and get into the dressing room. Here we are in the dressing room. Let's see what kind of reaction I can get out of the lads. Uh, I'm going to go... I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge. Uh, 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 wrong answer. And uh, let's go, I have faith. You know what I like to do right now if you've been watching the channel for any amount of time. And there we go. That's why I like to do it because it gets everybody motivated. And before we get into the game, just want to say sorry for the lack of videos over the last week or so. Those of you that follow me on Twitter, you will know I've been having mad problems with my back. Today's the first day. It started feeling a little bit normal. So I've jumped straight on to record because I could not wait for this. So that's why there's been no videos. And so now let's crack on prediction time. We are away. I'll take a draw. I will take a draw. I'm going to say one apiece. So 1-1. One, one. But let's hope my team can surprise me. Come on you Linets. First highlight of the game. It's Northampton with a goal kick. Their man goes long and it gets flicked onto Fielding. Can we please get this ball back off him? Nope, it's gone back to Scully. To Villarasa. To Baldwin who goes long. And we head it away thanks to our giant Dave Barnett. And now it's Marsden potentially on the counter. But he's lost it to Scully. Fielding back out wide to Villarasa once again. Fielding collects it again. And now Kerr is in space. He's in too much space there. He's gone past one man. He's in the box. He's gone for the shot. And Herbin has parried it into that packed stand behind him. Can we survive this first onslaught of the game? As it's going to be Fielding from the left-hand side. Crossing it in. And Herbin deals with that very easily. 25 minutes gone now. Northampton with a free kick. Barnett again tries to head it away, but it only goes as far as Kerr, who's on the edge of the box. He's gone for the shot, and Herbin's pulled off a world-class save there. And again it goes out. Who's it going to be from the other side? It's going to be Scully this time with an out-swinging corner. And can one of our men get this away? Yes, they can. Barnett does. Lewis flicks it on, but it goes to nobody in a blue shirt. And Baldwin collects it, but doesn't do anything with it. 35 minutes gone now, 10 minutes to half time, we get the ball off our goal kick, Lewis to Murray. 
Murray back to Barnett. He goes long. Can Goodridge flick this on? No, he can't. And it's Northampton coming forward once again. It's been all Northampton today. Our defenders tried to go for a tackle there, but thankfully Fielding's effort was atrocious. Well, that first half has not been very good, has it, boys and girls? Northampton have had 15 shots, 2 are 2, 9 on target, 2 are none. They've dominated possession. We've got to change something up here. But what do we change? I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I'm tempted to try and drag Marsden back down and push Lewis and Wright Phillips up. Do we do that? Try and get some more of the ball? Yes, we do. So, Marsden goes in there. McCarthy goes in the middle as an advanced playmaker. And then we're going to do what I've been doing on my Everton save that I've been playing whilst I've been not recording videos. And that is, we're going to have two box-to-box -box midfielders either side of McCarthy. And we're going to push Lewis... And DiMaggio White Phillips up a bit more, and we're gonna we're gonna bring Wilson back as a fullback on defend, just like Crow, and I think that's how we're gonna have it for the minute. So let's go into the team talk. Let's go assertive, and I'm gonna say I'm not happy because I'm not, and most everybody is motivated or fired up. Come on, just one goal just to give us some sort of chance in the second leg would be very nice. Okay, no highlights as of yet in the second half, but we've just made a couple of changes. Des Roy Lake is coming on for DiMaggio Wright Phillips, and Xavier Simmons is coming on in replacement of David Marsden. Hopefully Simmons can get one of his trademark long goals. That would be very nice. Come on, just, just just a highlight is what I would like now. Come on, you Linets. Oh, one highlight at the end of the game, and it's just a poor one there. Our corner being headed by Desroy Lake, and their keeper collecting it. But we've picked the ball up off their clearance, and now Dylan Crow coming forward with the ball. Come on, can he find a teammate? He needs someone to help him here. And he's had, he's not had no help there. And now Northampton coming forward. And again, we collect the ball this time. Unpronounceable sprays it out wide. Lewis is in space. He's crossed it into the box. And Goodridge with the header, but it's gone away. Oh, come on. We've got two minutes left of this game. Can we at least get a draw? Kadja with the ball goes for an... Thankfully, that was dreadful. Thankfully, that was dreadful. And now, finally, after waiting all second half for some highlights, they're all coming in injury time. As now Robles, with the ball, goes back to his keeper. And what is Hallgaard going to do with the ball here? He's inside his own penalty box, taking his sweet time. He's finally kicked it. And, well, he's gone straight out for a throw-in. This is League 2 football for you boys. And now, come on, 40 seconds left. It's Wilson with the throw-in. Drops it, sort to Goodridge. Wilson collects it back. And now, come on, can he play the ball forward? He doesn't. He goes in the middle, but Murray's got it. And he goes out wide. Lewis nods it down to nobody. Well, the quality here has been absolutely atrocious. I think this is going to be the end of game highlight. Hallgaard kicking it long. And are we going to win this back? No, we're not. Unpronounceable collecting it off their flick on. And that ends a dreadful game of football. You wait about two weeks for a video. And then it drags up a game like that. Thank God we've got another one planned, eh? So let's go in the dressing room. I'm going to go assertive. Again, I'm going to go, I'm not happy. Because we was absolutely outclassed in that first half. Everybody's fired up. Everybody is motivated. I'll be back with you guys in a minute for the second leg. Where hopefully we'll get some goals. 
We've made quite a few changes in the team today, most noticeably going with the three in the middle. Now, although it didn't give us any chances in the second half of the first leg, it didn't mean that Northampton dominated us as much as what they did in the first half. So this is the team for today's game. We've got Herbin in goal, Wilson, Barnett, Andrew Unpronounceable and Dylan Crow are all our back four. Dylan Crow has got a call up to the Jamaica team for the World Cup. So we might have a World Cup player on our hands next season. And then in the middle, we've got Xavier Simmons and Ewan Murray playing as box-to-box -box midfielders. Either side of Callum McCarthy, who is our advanced playmaker. And then up top, we've got Dexter Walters on the left as an inverted winger. Desroy Lake as an inside forward on the right-hand side. And then Aberdeen Goodridge is an advanced forward. Please let this be the team to get us to our second Wembley final in as many years. Come on, you Linets. The bookmakers have us as the favourites for the second leg. Quite big favourites there, if I understand my odds rightly. Not quite sure what the big swing is from the first game, but... I'm going to take it. Come on. Come on, Linets. Here we are in the dressing room once again. Come on. What can we get out of the lads? Um, da, 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 oh, I don't know what to say. You deserve to be in the final? I don't know how I expect you to make it happen, no? Oh, let's go for that. It's probably going to be wrong. Yep, no real reaction out of anybody. But this is where we do get it. And so, prediction time. Dodgy, nervy, squeaky, 1-0 win in the 93rd minute with the ball going in off Desroy Lake's arse. That I will take. Come on, you Linnets. Okay, that's half-time. And again, no highlights. Really sorry, lads. Not sure what's going on. But it is still nil-nil. From the stats, you can see that it's been a very even game. We've had five shots to their four, one on target to their two. But we have had a lot more of the ball. So I'm going to try and go a bit more attacking and see if we can at least get some highlights for you guys. You can see in the other semi-final, Coventry are 2-0 up. So my prediction could be right. Hopefully we can get that dream final against Coventry to get the revenge for not going up automatically. And so we're going to go tactics. We're going to go... We're already on attacking. I don't want to go very attacking. What can I change here? Let's try and play down the wings. And let's try and go a bit wider. Let's see if that can do anything for us. We're going to go team talk. We're going to go assertive. I'm not happy with your performance. Please, come on, Kingsling. Do not bottle this. Finally, a highlight. I've just changed it up to extended highlights so we can hopefully get some football to show you. And it has worked straight away as now Dylan Crow gets the ball. He goes into McCarthy to Ewan Murray. And he goes back to Crow. And Crow loses it out there. Oh no. Oh, Dylan Crow with his mind on the World Cup is giving the ball away. Kerr with the shot. It's been saved. Asante with another shot. And Herbin with a fantastic double save. Pushes the ball out for a corner ball. And now can we survive this? Fielding with the outswinging corner. Asante's header and Herbin thankfully makes the easy catch. Here we go. Finally, all the highlights. Barnett goes long and, well, straight to their keeper. No idea what we was thinking then. But they have thrown the ball out wide immediately. Miller with it. Wilson trying to win it back but doesn't. McCarthy does get the interception. Goes into Tyreek Wilson, who plays it forward to Walters, to Simmons. We're playing some decent football here. Can we just get the ball a bit further forward? Wilson plays it long. And Goodridge, I don't know if he's onside or not. It doesn't matter, because that shot was blooming awful. Okay, 20-odd minutes left. We've just made a couple of changes. 
Tristan Aberdeen Goodridge is looking very nervy. So he's been taken off for David Marsden. And DiMaggio White Phillips is coming on for Desroy Lake. Come on, one goal. One goal, that's all we need. Oh, just over 10 minutes left. We've got a highlight. McCarthy loses the ball, but it falls to Simmons and goes to Ewan Murray off him. He's played it out wide. DiMaggio is in space. Can he get this ball back into the box? He's crossed it. Their man Wilkins headed it away. It's gone to McCarthy. Ping-pongs to right Phillips. And then Murray loses the ball but does regain it. Walters to Marsden. To Walters with his long shot. That's been blocked. And now Simmons plays it out wide. DiMaggio right Phillips just about keeps the ball in. And he tries to cross it in but it hits their man and goes out for a corner ball. Come on, what can we do from this? It's going to be Dylan Crow to take it. It's going to be an outswinger. Please hit a man in blue. He doesn't. But it goes to Andrew Unpronounceable. Again to Crow. His cross again is blocked. And it's going to be a throw in for us. We have had most of this game. You can see it by the stats. We've had 12 shots to their 8. 3 on target compared to their 6. So that's a little bit disappointing. But... We have been the better team, I think those stats do suggest. As now Hallgaard taking an age to kick this ball. Finally he does, it goes out wide. And it's Cager with the ball for Northampton. Ah, oh, no, 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 they're getting way too near our goal for my liking. But thankfully Piggott's header goes straight to Herbin. And now can we get a counter attack going here? He kicks the ball long. And who's it going to go to? Can Marsden win this? He does. Flicks it back to McCarthy. Walters out on the left-hand side. Plays it in. And DiMaggio! DiMaggio with the shot and it's saved. Oh, I thought that was the chance that where we was going to win it. But now, come on. Five minutes left. The corner's gone away. Andrew, unpronounceable. His cross hits their man. Goes to Pickett who clears it. And now it's Talbot on the counter. Anything could happen here. Can we please get this ball back? McCarthy with a great tackle. Knocks it out. And this is going to be some of the most stressful five minutes of my life. Can we please get a winner? All we might do here. Murray with the free kick. He plays it in. And oh, that was poor. Don't know who that was meant for. But whoever it was did not get to it. And now Hallgaard with the ball. He clears it long. And Cager with the ball. And always oh, gone past his man there. Come on, don't, don't lose it now. Do not lose it now. Cager with it. And we have lost it. Oh, no. Oh. How on earth have we lost this now? Cager with the ball. He ran down the left-hand side. And then his cross went in. And, well, nobody picked up McWilliams. And I am not McLovin' it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's not going to happen, is it, boys? Nope. I think this is the end of game highlight. Crow with the ball goes out wide to Walters. And yet, oh, what a way to lose it. One goal over the two legs. Well, that's disappointing. We've missed out on automatic promotion because of one goal. We've missed out on the playoffs because we couldn't score over, what, 180 minutes. Oh, let's go into the dressing room. Let's tell the lads I'm not happy. We didn't deserve to do it over the two legs, I think you can say. If you can't score in 180 minutes, you don't deserve to be winning. And yet, most of the lads are motivated. And so, guys, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video, please Pop a massive thumbs up down below. I know not too many goals, but more likes we can get. It helps the channel out. Follow me on Twitter 
at Bad Jokes Gaming. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. I'll be back with the West Ham uh, 0607 series uh, the day after this comes out. So, not the day after, the day after, the two days after it's come out. Can't remember my words right now. So, I might get this out today, Monday. I'm not sure. But if I get this out Monday, then West Ham will be Wednesday. Or if I get this out Tuesday, West Ham will be Thursday. So, yeah. That's the plan from now on. Leave a day in between videos to give people a chance to catch up. And um, as well as that, check out all the Passion for FM lads. I've got all their details in the description down below. And check out the Passion for FM website, Twitter, Discord and the Facebook. And yeah guys, I shall see you. I'll see you whenever I can for the West Ham series. Sayonara.